application. So we went ahead and did that. And we call it touch effects. We wanted to use some more of the native APIs, some of the touch event APIs. And so again, I'll single click, build that, and it loads up this application. This application is sort of you know, having fun with photos in the touch system. So here I can either choose a photo or take a photo. I'll go ahead and choose a photo. This now will slide up the standard image picker panel. So this is all built in APIs. I can choose an album. I can choose a photo. OK, so we have a photo. Now I'm going to take a single finger here and touch it down on the screen. And you can see now we're applying an OpenGL mesh distortion right onto this image. And you can see it's tracking my finger using the touch event system. So I'll put it right about there. <laughs> this guy's not in the audience, is he? Uh, so that was with one finger, right? But of course, this is multi-touch device. So now I'll take two fingers, and I'll just sort of pinch. And let's see what happens there. It just sort of sucks in between where I was pinching. So then we wanted to have some fun. We want to see, like, how could we undo the change? And of course, we have an accelerometer built in here. So to undo it, all I do is shake the phone. <laughs> and it undoes it. <laughs> so again, you can you know, grab anywhere, do this multi-touch event, get a, you know, different effects. His mother will be very proud. Uh, and shake to undo. So there's an application we wrote in two days, and it's under 2,000 lines of code to write that entire application.